Good afternoon, good morning, uh, happy Lenten season. God bless each of you. Today I am reaching out to you as we enter into the season of Easter and as we approach Holy Week. I have several things that I want to share uh, and to discuss and just to bless you with this information. Listen, first of all, this Saturday, those of, you who live, those of us who live in Caddo Parish, please make sure that you go and vote. Make sure that you go and vote on this coming Saturday. This is an historic election. You know the importance of one vote. You know what happened a few months ago, and we need to make sure that that same person uh, comes out on top again. But it's going to take every one of us a concerted effort to go out and vote on Saturday, March the 23rd. I trust that those of you who have, who have not early voted, and uh, thank you, those who have, but let's get out early on the, uh, Saturday, and even let's make sure that we find others to take to the polls as well. Invite them that they might be able to exercise a great right, a right, uh, believe it or not, that is under attack even as we speak. Listen, this Palm Sunday, Palm Sunday, this Sunday is Palm Sunday in the Christian calendar. Palm Sunday is a high holy day in the church. I want to see you on Sunday morning as we observe this great day. This is the day of the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem as he enters into the last week of his life. I'm going to preach a message on Sunday coming from, I believe, the book of Luke, uh, chapter 19, where the question, I'm going to raise a question, what is all of this noise about? For Jesus says to the Pharisees, if these were to hold their peace, if these were to hush, if these were to be quiet, the rocks would cry out. I need you to be there on this Sunday morning. Then Holy Week services, beginning on Wednesday night, we'll be over at the New Hope Church, uh, where the Pastor Bram is there, and uh, we'll be celebrating and sharing there, beginning on Wednesday night. Looking forward to an outstanding series of worship services. Listen, on Wednesday night, uh, the youth and the young adult night, our young adults there, will be participating with the music ministry and the praise team. But most importantly, let's pack out New Hope to support Stanley Rawls Jr., who will be the meditation speaker. We're proud of Stanley, and we're giving an opportunity uh, for him uh, to to speak and to preach at uh, this stage, on this stage, at this level. So we're all going to be there and we're going to support him. We will be going live, I believe, at 630 uh, as well on our platforms. But let's be in the building to support Stanley Rawls Jr. Then Thursday, there will be the service of Holy Communion uh, at 630 as well. And then on Friday, the seven last words at noon. And all of these services will be held at the New Hope Church, 3737 Ninoc Street. But on Friday, on Friday, on Friday, I will be speaking at the Peaceful Rest Baptist Church as a part of an ecumenical interdenominational uh, Good Friday service. Uh, I will be speaking there at noon as one of the seven uh, speakers for that service. So please come out, support uh, your pastor, uh, if you would, oh, at that service as well. And then on Easter Sunday morning, on Easter Sunday morning, I'm looking forward to a glorious resurrection day. I want to see you on Easter Sunday morning. I want to see your family. I want to see your friends be there with us on Easter Sunday morning. I've invited my friend, uh, Reverend Dr. Deborah Coleman, to bring us an Easter Sunday message that day. God bless you. And of course, God keep you certainly is our prayer. But we want to have an outstanding, a great Holy Week service. And as we lead into Easter Sunday morning, there's so much that God has been, has been good to us about. And there's so much that we have to be thankful for. So let's honor him with our presence in the very house of God. God bless you and God keep you. Certainly is always my prayer. God bless you. Thank you very much.